The deal is about to go down. What's up everybody, it's chow time again. It is Saturday morning, October 1st. Uh, we are on the way to a meeting spot where I will be selling my T3i. Um, that camera has been with me for a very long time and we've gone through a lot. We've started a business together and it's done me well. But it's time to part ways and um, meeting up with the guy right now. It is a Craigslist deal so you gotta do it in public, right? You gotta be safe about it. <laughs> All right, we are meeting by the library, and this is the way, I think. Did you say And that is where we are meeting, so now I just gotta find a parking spot. Oh, found one right here. Yeah. I'll be wearing a blue Yosemite t-shirt, okay. All right, thanks a lot. Awesome. Thank Have fun with it. Yeah, you too. So the deal is done. Sold my T3i, and now it's time for some coffee at my favorite coffee spot in Beaverton. Yeah. Jim and Patty's. We got a little fall family photo shoot going on right now. You know, we got our own camera. We know how to do it, so why not do it ourselves, right? It costs a, costs a lot to have somebody else do it, so. We always do it ourselves. We're at this place called Dawson Creek. Just like the TV show, Dawson's Creek. <laughs> it's a beautiful place. <sighs> oh. Oh. Okay, so <laughs> why did I go with a Canon ADD as my main vlogging camera? Uh, first, let me just say that the decision was not an easy one. Uh, there are several really good options out right now with many great features, but I ultimately went with this one. Um, to help make the decision easier for me, I actually put together this spreadsheet that uh, basically listed out all the features that were important to me for what I wanted to use the camera for, and all the cameras that had uh, the features or most of the features. Um, based on that matrix, two cameras stood out as the top ones. It was the, uh, the Panasonic GH4 and the Sony A6300, neither of which I went with. <laughs> I, again, I ultimately went with this one, even though it only shoots up to 1080p. Um, a couple other factors as to why I chose this camera. I already have a few Canon lenses, so that meant that I didn't have to reinvest in like Sony lenses or uh, Panasonic lenses or lenses from other brands. Um, two, the dual pixel autofocusing system uh, combined with this fully articulating screen kind of makes it a no-brainer for vloggers and that's what I would be using this camera for anyway, for vlogging. Um, the fully articulating screen here helps me or any vlogger frame the shot, uh, keep an eye on white balance and exposure and all that good stuff. So. And it's uh, tap to focus too, so that's a great thing. Um, now if Sony actually had one of these fully articulating screens, I think I might have gone with that, but it doesn't have that fully articulating screen and uh, rumor has it that it tends to overheat. So <laughs> uh, I didn't go with the, the Sony A6300. I also didn't go with the uh, Panasonic GH4 because if the autofocusing is anything like the LX100, um, which I already have, I'm shooting with it right now, then it's not great. It's been my biggest frustration with the LX100, um, especially when I'm doing vlogging. Uh, the focus tends to shift back and forth and sometimes it's focusing on the background when I'm actually in the foreground. There's more of me in the shot, but it's still focusing on the background, which is a huge frustration. So I didn't go with that, uh, the, uh, the Panasonic GH4, just because I didn't want to take the risk of spending even more money for that camera. That camera, by the way, was the most expensive of the, uh, the four options that I listed. I didn't want to risk spending that much money on it and finding out that the autofocusing sucks and then have to return the camera or something. It's just, it would be a huge waste of time and I didn't want to go through that. So I went with this. Plus, the reason why 
1080 is okay with me is because I checked my view stats on my YouTube channel and 86% of my videos are uh, being viewed on either a mobile phone or a tablet, which kind of makes 4K less important to me. That kind of, It kind of dropped it lower on the importance list. So there you have it, the Canon 80D. Uh, it is a little bit bulkier than the other options, but you know it's got the features that I need and it does the job well. So anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, please give this video a like if you liked it and uh, please subscribe if you haven't. Uh, I'd really appreciate that and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye. I was just recording you, Daddy. You didn't know. Stay there, Daddy. Don't go yet. Just stay there. I need to set up the camera right here. When you walk, I'm going to see both of us okay. walk. There we go. You ready? Okay. So we got it. Good job, Kaban. Good directing. I'm a camera master. You are? You're a yeah. little director, huh? Uh-huh. Do you know what directing means? No. It means you tell people what to do. Uh-huh.